let's talk of the next thing in pharmacology that's two terms uh, one is pharmacokinetics and the other one is pharmacodynamics now you'll often find these terms being used when you talk about drugs in therapeutics uh, now let's start discussing with the first uh, of uh, 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 the definitions that is pharmacokinetics uh, i split the term because it's a big term pharmacokinetics so split into two things pharmaco and kinetics Pharmaco is of course the drug molecule, so it has to do with the drug molecule or whatever substance that the person is uh, intending to use it for therapeutics. The second thing uh, what we need to know is kinetics. So kinetics in other ways in physics is velocity of velocity. So now I join it, so it's the velocity of the drug molecule. Now the velocity of the drug molecule uh, should be ideally inside the body and that is what it is. So the movement of the drug molecules inside the body is what we call it as pharmacokinetics. Okay? So it involves four processes in general. The first one is if the drug is taken by oral route, absorption of the drug, absorption of the drug for example. So if the drug is taken orally, it needs to get absorbed if it needs to act. So absorption of the drug through the GIT is what is a normal process. So absorption, first thing in pharmacokinetics. The next thing is once inside the body, drug needs to get distributed across the body. It has also a component for protein binding. So all these things we cover it, cover it up as distribution of the drug inside the body. The fourth thing is metabolism. Because whatever goes inside the body, the foreign treats, uh, the body treats it as a, a foreign substance and tries to take it away from the body so or nullifies action so body has its own ways so metabolism of the drug molecule or xenobiotics whatever you call it as is a process which deals with the drug molecules movements inside the body and the fourth thing is the excretion because all drugs which are taken inside at some time or the other most of them needs to get excreted out of the body uh, the processes we will deal it with uh, at some other time, but excretion is again an important process as far as pharmacokinetics is concerned. So pharmacokinetics is ATME or absorption, distribution, metabolism and excretion of the drug. Now this is about pharmacokinetics in general. The next thing to talk of is pharmacodynamics. Again a big term, but nothing great in it. Pharmacodynamics, split the term, pharmaco and the second thing is dynamics. So pharmaco again is the drug molecule uh, which is given for therapeutics or whatever it might be. The second thing is dynamics. So dynamics is uh, what uh, the drug molecule can do or its effects uh, because dynamics is something to you know something of a inner will to change uh, uh, the things around you so again dynamics with molecules is what they can do now so pharmacodynamics is what the molecules or drugs does to the body in other ways so it can bring about a very positive kind of a interaction or reaction with the body the second thing it will be kind of it's not acting a neutral way so drug can act like a positive one a negative one or can be just a neutral so most, most of the times it is positive but at times it can be the reverse way. So what the drug does to the body is pharmacodynamics in other ways. So we have two terms today, pharmacokinetics which is the movement of the drug molecule inside the body. The second is the pharmacodynamics is what the drug molecule does to the body or what effects it can bring uh, to the body. So two terms, two important terms that we have learned for today. Um, and uh, thank you for watching my video do subscribe uh, my channel uh, to my channel and uh, please post your comments if possible so that i can improve on my presentation skills uh, thank you and keep watching uh, goodbye see you